Good morning, friends. This is Corky, the Plum Creek Booksmith, and I'm back with the journal. This is a little Christmas journal. Um, she's uh, nine tall by s almost a little over six wide, and I don't know, maybe an inch spine, and it's covered with a canvas fabric. Um, this book started out as a do-it-yourself encyclopedia, and I've gutted it. I had like five or six of them, so. I'm trying over time to make them into journals, and I thought with the beautiful red cover that they would make good Christmas journals. So that's what I've started, and I do a little bit at a time. Um, I found this little wooden frame. I think it's wooden. It might be some kind of man-made. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I, I found this in some of my things, and I thought, let's make a Christmas window out of it. So. And I have like a Christmas card back behind it, so it looks like you're looking into somebody's window at Christmas time. And so I, um, I took the shape of it and um, made a hole in the cover to, because this is kind of thick. It's at least um, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch thick, this little wood window. And so I, I put it inside here. So that gives you, you ideas. You know, if you find some things um, that you want to include into a book. That's what you could do. So this is this will be a Christmas journal someday. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that in. Okay, so like I said, she's nine tall, a little over six wide. She has three signatures, and she has a hollow back spine. Um, lots of sewing. There's some jingles at the bottom and some other charms, Christmas-related charms, tied to the signature strings. Um, I put an oversized... Um, postcard on it and I I put some of that frosted um, oh it's it's from Tim Holtz um, I can't remember the name of it but it's heat set and it just I love the look and feel of it and I've just done a few little doodads up here she's she's um, put on top of a um, an old journal ledger page and it was for December something of 19 uh, 50 something I think so I I found another ledger page that had um, 1911 on it so I made it December 18th 1911 because I wanted it to be Christmas related and a little older than the 50 something so here's a stamp that says December 25th plus serendipity on this particular ledger page at the bottom of this particular where I cut it there was the number 1225 so I thought that was perfect for a Christmas journal very serendipitous. I think that's the word. Um, okay, so the inside has a, two pockets. Well, actually three pockets. And I need to put some more, some things in this pocket. I'm sorry. I will do that <clears throat> for the new owner. And most of the time when people buy things from me, I add to it before I send it off. So I will make sure there's something in that pocket. And in this pocket, I put two angel, Christmas angels on the outside of this pocket. And then there's more here. I made a whole bunch of these Christmas tags and I was giving them away or selling them on um, craft shows and I had some left over so I thought I'd put them in here. And so they're just the perfect size. You can use them for gift tags if you want or you can use them for journal um, tags. You decide. And so we'll get started. I can't remember how many pages I have in each journal or each signature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looks like this signature has thirteen. So they're probably around thirteen, sometimes twelve, fourteen. <clears throat> sometimes they're not the same. So we'll get started. Um, some of the digitals are my own. This one is another shop digital, and um, if I remember. Um, I'll put a link to it down below. This is a German book page. And then most of the inserts, well, I shouldn't say most. This one is authentic. This is an authentic Christmas postcard from 1918. And I liked how it looked when I had it in the window envelope because <clears throat> you get to see the postcard there. I have a little fabric tab here. <clears throat> And this particular page was kind of brittle, so I I backed it and glued another um, a digital on it so that it would be secure. Um, I I made some of those covered 
hidden uh, paper clips. And this one in particular, I made it shiny where, the, where Santa's beard is and his little hat, the fur on his hat. And then I, I, I put one of these um, date our date pages and date book pages. And I think this was from 1954. So this one can it can come and go as you want. You can use it for writing on. I liked how it looks just kind of outside the page. It gives you that interest. Um, I found some um, ledger pager pages that were in my uh, box of offcuts and things, so I thought I'll just make some tabs with the numbers on. Just adds interest. And then this is kind of a belly band, but I do have it. I just have this one just so that it's flippable, I guess. And you can just um, paper clip it back. And then this is a reproduction postcard. I think this one's on my on my Etsy store. I'm not real sure. But those um, these are. And I'll put a link to those. This one, I just found the image online and made a, a fun little um, tag and put a ledger page on the back. I love... I love Christmas trees or evergreen trees, especially around Christmas. It fits. They just say Christmas. This is one of my digitals. I love this. I love how this turned out. I used a whole bunch of vintage um, Christmas cards and just snippets from vin vintage Christmas cards and some just some other clip art that I had. And I, I liked how it all turned out. And this as well is on my Etsy. Um, this little Christmas angel girl. She's got a wing back here, so that's why I think she's a Christmas angel. She's just a side tuck. I put three red envelopes in. I didn't decorate them at all. You can use them to send Christmas letters in or whatever, but each one of them has um, an authentic Christmas um, postcard. And I can't tell when this one's, I don't see a date, and this is hard to read. 1921, I think is what that says. So it's over 100 years old, oh my gosh. If that's what it was. I'm so glad people kept things. By the way, I'm going later today to pick up a huge amount of ephemera that I got on an online auction. I can't wait to show tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a, a video of my um, what I've gotten. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see it. Here's another authentic postcard. It must not have been sent. It might have been put in a in an envelope, but it says Merry Christmas, Mrs. Sprain, Sprague. I don't know. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I think Santa Claus needed some dentistry. He needed braces or something because he's got quite a gap in his teeth. <laughs> I've never seen one like this. But it's authentic and it's pretty cool. I love it. Here's another little Christmas postcard that's in a window envelope. And I've decorated it with some of my um, Christmassy background pages. And I think you can, you can find those on my Etsy store if you want to do the same thing. Happy New Year, and it is from 1911, so it matches the date from here. And I put this little snippet of eyelet fabric at the very top, so it, you can pull it, you can push it all the way down and still be able to retrieve your card. And then another um, piece of fabric on the edge. I think each each signature has um, rick rack, red rick rack. And then here is another one of those uh, hidden uh, paper clips, and it's holding this page out of a date book from 1954. And here is a little uh, bottom pocket, and it has a reproduction postcard, Christmas postcard. Looks like a family waking up Christmas morning and finding their gifts under the tree. <coughs> and I put some pretty lace on the top on one page of every signature so there was this one here so I love all of the you know the frills and the strings but the new owner can do what he or she likes this is another one of my pages 
Christmas background pages, and here's another one. <clears throat> when I was a kid, mom, mom and dad always put oranges and apples in our stockings. So I just, that's just um, in memory of that, or in honor of that. Some pretty lace trim down the side here. And then there's the other side of my Christmas pa uh, background page. And there's another one of the envelopes that has a vintage postcard in. There it is. And this one is from 1916. And honestly, it has the artwork that almost looks like it could have been done today. I love that. It's just a really pretty, looks like a watercolor scene. Santa's meeting this young man or this little guy discovered Santa Claus in his backyard, maybe. You should be in bed sleeping, young man. Okay, put that one over here. I had some pages that were that were needing to be used. They don't exactly say Christmas, but they give you that Victorian um, old time feel, and that's that's the best kind of Christmas is that old time Christmas. So I included those in my in my journal. And there's some ruffled fabric or gathered fabric. And I guess either one, either word works. And here's another authentic Christmas card postcard, and it's you can it's textured embossed or whatever and it is from 1908 Santa Claus going up into a window it looks like because that's not a chimney that's a win window a brick wall and then I put some of these little page darts on on these um, German book pages and there's one in each one in each signature Here's another window envelope, and I just put a layaway ticket in because Christmas. Remember when we had, we didn't have enough money to just outright buy, and we didn't have credit cards, so you put things on layaway. Paid all summer long, all fall, and then you could bring home your bicycle or whatever, you know, your gift that you're giving somebody for Christmas that you worked all season long for. Those were the days. And there's another hidden, hidden paper clip with Santa. And there's another one of those little tabs that I made out of um, a ledger book page. Another little bottom pocket, and it has another reproduction postcard. And there's another one of my pages. I just love this. Old Christmas cards and just put them together nicely as a background page. I think they print up really nice. And another envelope with a New Year's Eve or a New Year's message. Still looks Christmassy because of that little girl. January 2nd. I don't see the year date. I must be blind. Anyway, it's authentic and has a little letter on it on the back. And a little tag here. And another authentic um, postcard from 1919. It's a birthday card, I think, or it says best wishes. So I'm guessing it's, dear little Margie, I am tardy by one day, but I wish everything good and many more returns of your birthday. Your friend, Harmon Henline, Edison, Nebraska. Another one of those page darts. And just be aware that these pages are pretty fragile. And on the back again, um, I used some of these, uh, uh, I don't know what they're called. I got, I got a whole stack of these things at a flea market <clears throat> and I just, and I was sitting on them. They were, they're, they're like instructions for, um, car sh uh, repair shops of 19, I don't know, 60, I think it was some, somewhere in that era. And they're the perfect weight, they're cardstock and the perfect kind of color because they're Kind of an ivory off-white kind of and then you grunge them up cut them down and i made pockets out of them i just need to start using things that i bought and rather than just sit and think well i could sell these i could sell that you know i just need to get busy using things that i have so these have tags in them as well like the front 
and like I said, I usually stuff things, so there'll probably be more in this book before it sells. And I love how this is all stained. I don't know what kind of stain it is. I didn't do it. It just came that way. So that is my latest Christmas journal. I hope you liked her. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, be sure and subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell to be reminded. And leave a comment. I would love to read your comments, and I will see you later. Have a good day, friends. Bye now.